Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to model and describe the relationship between two quantities. Janice is recording the amount of precipitation, or rain, that falls each day along with the average temperatures outside using a rain gauge for a school project. She tracks this for five days and records her findings in a table. In addition to a table, we can also graph the relationship between the amount of precipitation and temperature. To do so, each pair of values in the table will become an ordered pair. We can then easily graph each of these values. The mathematical term for any set of ordered pairs is called a relation. We can represent relations with both tables and graphs. Okay, now it's your turn. Express the following relation as a table and a graph. Okay, first, we can input these values into a table. Since having order in math is important, I will organize these based on their x values. 0, negative 3, 2, 4, 3, negative 2, and 5, 1. Great! We've expressed the relation as a table. Now, we can graph each point. Remember, each pair of values can be viewed as an ordered pair. We will graph 0, negative 3 right here, followed by 2, 4, 3, negative 2, and 5, 1. Perfect! You have now modeled a relation as both a table and a graph. Now, one way to describe a relation is by its domain and range. Simply put, the domain is the set of all x values, and the range is the set of all y values. Since we are talking about the set of all x and y values, we can list these values using set notation. Set notation can be defined as writing a set of numbers using brackets to contain the values. So that is what we will do. Let's take another look at Janice's data on precipitation. The domain, or set of x values, is 1, 5 tenths, 3, 3 and 5 tenths, and 2. When stating the domain, we will write them in order using brackets or set notation. 5 tenths, 1, 2, 3, and 3 and 5 tenths. There, that is the domain of Janice's data. The range, or set of y values, is 10, 5, negative 7, negative 2, and 8. We can then write them in order using set notation. There. This is the range of Janice's data. Now it's your turn. Using set notation, state the domain and the range of the following relation. All right, let's remember to use set notation and draw our brackets for domain and range. Since the domain is the set of x values, our domain is 0, 1, 5, and 10. Let's go ahead and write it on our brackets. 0, 1, 5, and 10. Since the range is the set of all y values, the range is negative 9, 2, 4, and 7. Go ahead and write those in your brackets. Negative 9, 2, 4, and 7. And there you have it. That is the domain and the range of the relation. Great job! You are now equipped to model a relation as both a table and a graph, and describe the relation according to its domain and range. Good job! Mm -hmm.